My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I've been getting a lot of questions about the Antelope Pier 2. Uh, why do I have a Pier 2 when I have an Orion 32? Uh, how do I use the Pier 2 in my workflow? And how does the Pier 2 sound compared to the Orion 32? So the reason I got a Pier 2 is because I wanted to see how much of a difference a higher quality ADD converter would make my mixes and masters. So... After research, I decided to check out the Pier 2. Uh, I was already happy with the Orion 32. I was happy with the conversion I was getting. But if I was able to get you know a little more higher quality out of conversion, then I wanted to explore that. You know, after researching converters, the Pier 2 is 2200, I believe. Uh, looking at other products. 2200 really probably about 2500 would get you just a d to a converter or just an a to d converter with the pier 2 i'm able to have two channels a to d and d to a so the price point was really good for me and antelope really prices their products well it's still incredible to me that the orion 32 at 32 channels uh, you know they're selling for i think it's 2300 now and when i purchased mine it was 3000 which uh, was still a fair price to me for a 32 channel interface but that's the reason i purchased the port the pier 2 i wanted to see if i could get some higher quality uh, conversion and see would it make that much of a difference and I was skeptical because with Antelope making the Pier 2 and the Orion I felt that it would sound similar maybe I would even hear a difference how I use the Pier 2 in my workflow is it's my master A to D D to A converter so I, I mix through the dangerous D box using analog summing when my signal comes out of my summing box, it goes to my mix bus lunch box, which is here. And, and that's the uh, Alicia uh, X filter 500 and the smart C1 LA. Uh, so it goes through that and then it goes into the pier two. And for D to A, when I'm mixing, it's the main D to A that I use when I'm mixing. So it's really the the back end, well, kind of the front end and back end there for my mixing and mastering. So with the Orion 32, I used to use the A to D converters on the Orion for my mixes and then master with the Pier 2. Uh, after comparing the two, I do feel that the Pier 2 sounds better than the Orion 32. It's not a, a night and day thing, uh, but I do feel that it overall sounds better. And I'll give you an example uh, soon uh, between those two. Uh, that's how I use the, the Pier 2. But now I use the Pier 2 for all my mixing and mastering, not just mastering and um so yeah how does it sound compared to the orion so this is a song called uh, f potential uh from an artist named ko mccoy that i mastered a few years ago uh the song is on itunes uh, you can check it out and i've got part of this running through uh the orion a to d and uh, through the pier 2 a to d uh, so i'm going to play those back and then i'll give my thoughts and um, you can decide for yourself how do you feel between uh, the Orion A to D and the Pier 2 A to D. Okay, so I've got two tracks here. Uh, the red track is the Orion A to D and the white track is the Pier 2 A to D. So I recorded this uh, through the Orion or out of the Orion into the Dangerous D box, out of the D box directly into the Orion A to D and the Pier 2 A to D. So I'm going to play them and I'm going to switch between the two so you can hear the difference. How could you be scared? What you pray for sitting right here? You know that you can be honest. Frustration, let's not take it there. That's when she gets complicated. Let's not make Cause I just want you, baby You Cause I just want you, baby You Yeah What you want? 
walk into a room, they ask you, who is that? Should get your run for your money like a running back. Credit cards, credit so big thing. Got her shit together, yeah, she got her own. On a grown woman, she ain't talking me alone. She the type that ain't scared to be alone. Okay, so I'll talk about what I heard there and what ultimately uh, came to me keeping the pier too. I did hear a difference. It is subtle. It's not a night and day thing, uh, but overall, the way that I can describe the pier too is it just sounds a little bit more emotional to me. I feel like the vocal comes forward just a little bit. And um, most noticeably, the pier two has a low end extension. I'm getting more low end than what I'm getting with the Orion A to D converter. The one thing I also want to add about the pier two is that it has eight word clock outputs on the back, which is uh, more than I, I believe the Orion has four. But uh, with those word clock outputs, I'm able to, to clock multiple devices to the pier two. So not only is it my main uh, A to D and D to A converter, it's also my master clock. I've got the Orion clock to it. And, you know, in the future, if I decide to get more uh, digital devices, I'll be able to digitally uh, clock them uh, to the Pier 2. So, so that's another great advantage of the Pier 2. Uh, I will do a full review on the Pier 2 because a couple people have asked for that. But I wanted to quickly uh, just give you uh, the, you know, why I use the Pier 2 and just the difference, uh, you know, most importantly, the difference in the sound uh, between those two. But comment, uh, let me know what you think, and I'll catch y'all next time.